So, my EV cable's now in position and I've mounted the METI unit on the wall. Now, before I do anything else, I'll take an opportunity to explain that this is probably the simplest in the range and here's the terminals for my incomer. There's the contactor that will supply the cable and it's all controlled by the electronics here. This device measures and monitors the voltage on the LNN. So if it goes above 253 volts or below 207, it will operate the contactor and disconnect all of the conductors. So that's all of the live conductors and the protective conductor going out to the point out there. Now this is one of a range. So what we can do is you can get a type A RCD in it. You can also get an RCBO and there's even one with a type B RCD. Plus you can get the current transformer connections in there for the low curtailment. So this is a very comprehensive bit of kit. And I can actually see that the future could be that you have all of your EV charging equipment indoors and just have a simple IP rated socket outlet on the outside. So if you've got a risk of theft or vandalism, it would save hundreds and hundreds of pounds of kit being installed on the outside of the building. So it's looking good. Right, I'm now ready to do my dead test. But before I do that, I've got an extra length of cable here which is going to connect into the consumer unit so what i've done is i've connected the r1 and r2 here so i can get the full length of the cable from the consumer unit through here so obviously i don't want to go through the contact or do anything with the uh, electronics here and there's a dead short at the other end on the r1 and r2 and i've already done the crocodile clips in position now we covered all of the testing requirements and the shorting out and the nulling of the leads etc in the testing unit so this is a simple straightforward test we've got the calibration done Oh, go back here and just do a test and hopefully we get a good reading of 0 0.07 ohms. 